We asked Jonathan Cain how he deals with all the negative press. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. When it comes to Journey, a lot of folks like to fight. Of course, people are still wanting Steve Perry in the band, but that's that might never happen. We did ask him about that in this series. But when I had him on the phone, I thought, let's talk about some of this drama going on. How do you feel about like the negativity that's online? I mean, your wife is at Paula White, who is Donald Trump's spiritual advisor. Is that a real hot spot when it comes to the public? Half the people will be for her, the other half will not be. In Journey, there's a lot of negativity online. But how do you deal with that? You know, a little grace can change everything, you know, and, and, and to bring the name of Jesus in the White House and, and to bring prayer in the White House is like, that's pretty great. I know Pence, uh, Mike is a Christian. Mike Freebus is a Christian. They, they quote scriptures a lot uh, as they're speaking to each other, and uh, they still have, you know, National Prayer Days, a Lime in a Well. Um, they're still holding service for the senators. You know, the non, that's, that's the nonpartisan part of Washington. You know, that is where they come together as a church, you know. So why not unite like that? You know, that's one place where you leave your partisanship at the door. And so, yeah. you know, she has this relationship with the president for over 16 years, and that's it, you know. So I stay in my lane and, and, and just support her as her husband. Well, last summer, for instance, when all that hoopla was happening about the White House and you and Arnell and Ross going to the White House to meet Trump, and Neil Sean was saying some, uh, well, he was not happy about it. Ah, uh, you just take it. It's fake news. <laughs> We've had fake news, you know, since the 80s. I mean, we would play this amazing show in the arena, and the next day, some writer said how horrible it was. Well, that's not the way the fans thought, you know. But yet they wrote this scathing review of us, you know, and everybody and his mother had a great time, you know, and, and we rocked the house. And according to him, it sucked. So <laughs> it's been going on, you know, since forever. I mean, who knows? Some people were saying things online that weren't true. We were reporting that we thought even Journey might break up because it didn't look good. What's your reaction to stuff like that? To say this, I used to say those that can do, those that can't do, you know, so if the opinions are... You know, especially now with the internet, we have haters are going to hate. Now they have a platform. Now they can all get together and, and hate together. You know, <laughs> there was no place before the internet to hate, really. You know, unless you came to the concert, boycott it or something. Or, um, but really, uh, it's gotten out of hand. And, you know, it, it's a lot of it is just, I mean, they write horrible things on my Facebook. <laughs> you know, why, why come to my Facebook and insult me? Does that make you feel good? You know, does that make your day? I guess so. And then there's all the great comments that people leave, you know. That, uh, and, and I'm talking about maybe one one thousandth of the comments, you know, are, are haters. But you know, big haters don't hate. That's what I learned in Nashville. Well, I read the fact that you met Paula on an airplane. The, the, was there a connection between you two, like, right away? That's so much in common, uh, John. That was the thing. We shared our stories and we're like, no way, you know, because we both had you know, childhood tragedy and we both had, you know, divorce happen and we both made, what made and, and lost a fortune. Um, we both love the same things in sports and, and you know, she's she's a small town girl and I'm a city boy, you know, from Tupelo, Mississippi. And I guess my, I, I, she really heard my heart. It had been a long time since I spoke to a woman that, and went that deep with me, you know. Just it was just you know refreshing and and very memorable. So you know I had her email and we stayed in touch. And when I get divorced, uh, <clears throat> my second divorce, I called her. You know the rest is history. We got married and went to Ghana. Said I'd never, never go to Africa, and I've been there seven times. <laughs> Jonathan Kane's brand new book is called Don't Stop Believing. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up, and links to his website and all that stuff. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'll have another one from Jonathan Kane in just a few days. And remember to visit our swag store. Proceeds go to helping us grow this channel and partial proceeds to St. Jude's Hospital. There'll be links in the description as well. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.